Hey guys, today I want to show you how to create a Japanese wave pattern inside Adobe Illustrator. So the first thing we want to do is go to the ellipse tool, then hold down the shift key to draw a complete circle. Then go to the stroke panel and make the stroke the width you want. In my case I will choose 10mm. Then select the circle and shrink it down until the stroke and the fill is about the same size. Now you can color the stroke and the fill. We want to create some larger circles around this circle. So now go to Object, go to Path, go to Offset Path and in the Offset window type in double the width of your stroke up here. So my stroke is 10mm so I will put down 20mm and click OK. This will make sure the stroke and the fill is exactly the same size. Now do this one more time. You can create as many circles as you want and give the stroke any width you like. It's totally up to you. Now select everything. Go to Object, go to Pattern, go to Make, and then the object will be copied all over the place. So now let's build the pattern we want. So go to Tile Type and select Brick by Row. This will offset the object by half the object size as we choose right here. Now go down to Size Tile to Art. This will give us the ability to adjust the spacing between the objects. So we want to adjust the vertical spacing. So go down to V Spacing and type minus and start off with about half the height and width and see where it gets you. So minus 160 pixels. And we want the objects to overlap the other way around. So click it right here. So now the goal is to adjust the V spacing until the top of this circle aligns with the center of this circle. So as you see, we want to reduce the spacing a lot more. So go to V spacing and reduce the spacing even more. This seems about right. Now when the top aligns with the center of this circle, click done over here. This created the pattern over in your swatch menu. So now you can delete the object and use the pattern in any shape you want. So draw a rectangle, delete the fill and the stroke and fill the rectangle with the pattern. Now I will show you some tips and tricks for working with patterns. So as you see, we have these lines right here. And if you export the image as a JPEG or PNG, you sometimes still will have these lines. So to fix this, go to File, go to Export, and when you click Save, in this menu you can choose Art Optimized Super Sampling. This will usually make the lines disappear and fix the problem. So now what do you do if you want a rectangle this exact size, but you want the pattern inside it to be bigger? So now select the object and right click it. Now go to Transform, Go to scale and from here uncheck transform objects. This will keep the object the same size. Now you can adjust the scale of the pattern up here. For example if you want it smaller you can choose 10%. And if you want to scale it back up just type in a larger percentage and click OK. And if you want to scale the object like this the pattern stretches. You just click back at the pattern to go back to the original pattern. If you need to make changes to the pattern, you can always double click right here. And from here you can change the color of the pattern or you can change the stroke width or adjust the spacing. You can do anything you like right here.